Hello, I'm Karen Algersma at Skinny Tato Restaurant on Johnson Street in downtown Victoria, and I gotta eat here. And you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, a new song he's wellness center, turning crashed cars into cash, and a marina that's causing waves in Nanaimo. All that and more on Go Island. Thank you so much for joining us on Go Island. We have a skinny and delicious show for you today. We're here at Skinny Tato, where the potatoes will make you skinny and you will get the skinny on why this is the best restaurant uh, to enjoy Polish food in Victoria. Uh, Katarina. Yes. Am I saying that right? That's, That's a very beautiful good. name. Very good pronunciation. <laughs> Tell me the vision behind the name of your Polish restaurant. Skinny Tato. Well, skinny Tato, it comes, um, came from actually a uh, long way because um, the dream that I had um, to open the restaurant, it came like 27 years ago. It will be uh, Skinny Potato and my son-in-law said, Mom, no. no, why not Skinny Tato? I love so Skinny that, Tato. And I love Skinny Tato. I might tato. rename myself Skinny Tato. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're such a good. <laughs> I'm in an industrial park in the middle of nowhere. And I found this hidden gem that serves amazing food. Have you ever seen that show, You Gotta Eat Here, with John Cattucci? It is so entertaining. I want to meet him. I want to be his friend. And he came here all across the country. He came here into a few other restaurants in Victoria because, of course, we are, I think, the best place to eat in all of Canada. But, um, you know, when he came here, what did you show off? What was he most impressed of? What, what impressed him? Because it's hard, he's, he's excited about food, but he's seen a lot, so you have to impress him. What, Greg, what? Two days of hard work. <laughs> Two days of hard work. What was his favorite was, meal? What, what did you uh, give him to eat? One, well, of course, potato, yeah, pancake, potato pancake. Well, I'm gonna get skinny tatoed in just a moment, and we'll show you some of the delicious food uh, that they're preparing here. But first, um, the Songhees Nations has a new community resource center that won't only benefit the Songhees people, but everyone in the community. So Chetta Singh headed out to take a look at the new Songhees Resource Center. Thank you for bringing us that story, Suchetta Singh. We are here at Skinny Tato, um, and if you haven't heard, the Food Network came all the way to Victoria to visit this place, and it's on the hit show, You Gotta Eat Here. Why? Because you do, you, you gotta eat here. You absolutely have to, because the potato pancakes are amazing. Now, tell us, what's the... The key, ingredients, the, the key Karen, ingredients. is just potato. <laughs> Oh, my potato pancake smells delicious. Well, that's frying up. We are gonna head to Duncan. Now, when a car crash happens, of course, we are so concerned about the people involved. But have you ever wondered about the vehicle itself? Well, James Green headed out to Duncan to a car recycling business that's turning crashed cars into cash. I get to eat this in just a moment, so stay with us because I will tell you exactly what it tastes like in just a moment. And when we come back, we're also going to uh, touched down with the breakdown because this week they're talking about should you have a TV in your bedroom? I think you should if you're watching Go Island. Welcome back to Go Island. We are at Skinny Tato getting Skinny Tatoized. Uh, now this is a specialty of yours. What is this? Yeah. This is nature um, salad. Um, it means that um, red cabbage mm -hmm. is stuffed with all kind of goodies. Oh, and this goes beautifully with my pancake and yes. goulash that I'm about yes, to have. Yes, exactly. Well, I get to taste this in just a you moment, but we are to. going to head to Nanaimo while we finish this up, where Annette Lucas looks at a proposal for a new marina that's making waves with the public. I get to try it finally. Okay, so remind us, what am I eating here? I've got 
a skinny, a skinny, skinny potato pancake because it's healthy way to do it. Okay. Right? It's not deep fried. So I'm about to get skinny tatoized, and I, I think I'm going to lose five pounds just eating <laughs> this. Uh, we have to take a quick break, but when we come back, I'm going to tell you exactly what this tastes like and the breakdown. This week they're talking about should you have a TV in your room? If you were going to have coffee with a famous dead person, who would it be? And if you had something on your face, would you say, if someone else had something on their face, would you say to them, look, Karen, you've got cab in your face, or would you be too embarrassed? So stay with us. So how do I look? Katerina, do I look okay? You look amazing with this cabbage on your face because it seems like it's really <laughs> great food. <laughs> you know the nice thing about having cabbage on your face? Because you can kind of eat it off. <laughs> well, now i got to eat. Not just put this food on my face, but eat <laughs> this food. You know why? Because you got to eat here. Because Skinny Tato is going to be on the hit show, you got to eat here, on the Food Network. What's the date? April 12th. April 12th. Mm -hmm. So watch on April 12th. And on March 15, Shine Cafe, right here in Victoria, will also be featured on the show because when you come to Victoria, you gotta eat. Okay, this Hungarian, Polish influenced goulash in this skinny tato, it is extraordinary. You really, truly gotta eat here. Um, thank you so much for having us and cooking for me with love. Thank you for watching. It's all the time we have, but please, Connect with us. You can find us on Facebook. You can email us. You can follow us on Twitter. And if you see any of us anywhere, come up to us and say hello. We love chatting to, to you because that's why we do the show. Thanks for watching.